Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Today is my 24 week pregnancy update. It's gonna be a really, really quick one because there's actually nothing new to update at all really. I had a midwife appointment on Monday. It was my 23 and a half week one because when I was like 16 weeks pregnant, I went in and I kind of broke down about everything. Um, nothing to do with the pregnancy, just things with me and Pete weren't going well and obviously I just found out that my mum was ill. So she said, I'll bring you in a little bit sooner than normal, which just to, <laughs> to see that I'm okay. And I am now. I've said this in a couple of videos. Like, things with my mum, I, I just have to accept it is what it is. And it's going to be a tough year. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, she did all the normal things. Blood pressure, which was fine. She said it's a little bit low, but for you it's fine. <laughs> so I should have really checked what she meant by that, but... Yeah, I'm just assuming that it's fine. She checked my urine, which was fine. And then obviously baby's heartbeat, which was perfect. She found it straight away and my mum came with me and so did Jasper, so that was really nice. They could hear it as well, even though Jasper probably didn't have a clue what it was. And that's it, that's kind of all we got from the midwife appointment. I did speak to her about possibly having the baby in midwife-led birthing unit. I mentioned this did I mention it in my last week update? I think I did. Just because it's something a bit different, it's, like I said, midwife-led. I kind of, I don't really know the benefits that much. <laughs> I've just been told it's in the New Forest, which is where we got married, and it's just like a childhood favourite place of mine, and you can see horses out of the window. It's like a low-risk birthing unit, so I just see it as being a bit more relaxing and a bit more calm. Um, the only thing is, at the moment, I'm registered to have the baby at Winchester, so all of my bloods and everything have been taken there, whereas Ashurst is linked to Southampton, so if I do want to go to Ashurst, I have to have bloods taken at Southampton, because if there is a problem and I need to be rushed to hospital, because they can't do caesareans or, you know, if the baby poos inside you, is it called mech? Um, anything like that, if there are any complications, you have to go back to the hospital, and Southampton is closer than Winchester, so it would mean that if I don't have the baby at Ashurst, it would be at Southampton. So that's kind of my whole Winchester thing out of the window. So it's something I need to think about. I'm gonna book a tour. Um, I had my second yoga session last night, which went really, really well. I'm really enjoying it. Like for me, it's kind of my thing that I really look forward to in the week and it helps me relax. And it's just my time to focus on the baby. So I said this last week, but I would definitely, definitely recommend that you try pregnancy yoga. I'm gonna wait till I've done a few weeks and then I'll do a kind of video on what I've learned from it and how I've benefited from it and things like that. So if you're interested, stay tuned because I'll be doing that later. Okay, so on to the baby. I have my Pregnancy Plus app. I still haven't downloaded the other app. So I am in week 24. I'm 168 days pregnant in my second trimester. 16 weeks away from my due date, which is crazy. So crazy, it seems like 24 and 16 is so much more than halfway. That seems crazy. So the baby is still an eggplant because like I said last time, it's grouped together from 22 to 24 weeks. So an average of one to 1 1.3 pounds in weight and 11 to 12 inches in length from crown to heel. But if I actually go into the weekly thing, um, it gives it a little bit more specific, so 11.81 inches in length and 1.32 pounds in weight. Obviously that's just an average and an estimate, but kind of it's a bit better than just having the same date range for the last three weeks. It says your baby's hair is beginning to change to the colour that it will have at birth, which is exciting. Your baby's weight will double in the next four weeks. Last week it said that baby will double in weight over the next five weeks. So I thought oh, if I'm really tired or a bit achy or feeling sick, then that's why, but I've been fine. So I'll go on to my symptoms in a minute, but so far that kind of double weight gain hasn't affected me. At the moment, the baby weighs around the same as a lengthy paperback novel. Lungs are developing, preparing for the first breaths, producing surfactant, surfacent, that helps in keeping the lungs from collapsing or sticking together. Loud noises may startle the baby, causing a sudden jolt in your uterus. Um, so that's nice. I like reading little weekly updates. As for me, symptoms-wise, SBD has actually eased off quite a bit. I don't know if it's my pregnancy pillow because I've been sleeping with it every night, or if it's the yoga, even though I haven't actually been practicing the yoga stuff at home, so I've only done like an hour's worth of yoga. Well, two now. 
so yeah, it, it probably isn't anything to do with that, but I don't know, maybe it's just my body changing, baby easing off a little bit, like moving into a different position, I'm not sure. It's still there, it's definitely still there. Every so often if I'm sat down for too long, I stand up and I'm like, oh my God, it feels like I've been kicked in the crutch. Uh, but yeah, it's not like half as bad as it was before. No sickness, I haven't really noticed the hairiness on my face, although my hair is looking a bit horrendous. I've had more energy, I haven't been as tired, backache hasn't been as bad, it's actually been a really really good week symptoms wise. I'm getting my nails done today, I'm going to treat myself to a little mummy manicure, so that'll be nice. And I'll show you my bump now as well. Move this back a little bit. But I will see you guys on my 25 week update. I don't think I would have had any appointments or anything, hopefully in between then. So hopefully it's just another smooth sailing pregnancy update. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free and it means the world to me. And comment as well. Let me know if you're pregnant or how you are feeling at this stage and anything like that. See you next time, guys. Bye.